What up, friends? It's Trainer Joe, and today I have the privilege of working with Shauna to help invest in the wealth of the health for you and for me. We're going to land into round one. We're going to grab our block, and then we're going to move into some answer punches, putting the block between our legs to fire up the inner leg line. And then we're going to go down, get that full sit-up, exhale up, throw a little one-two punch, engaging the quads, the glutes, the core, the cardio. What we're looking for here is keeping our knees tractioning over our ankles keeping our legs squeezing tight on the block to fire up our glutes and our inner leg line, matching our breath with our movement, inhaling down, exhaling up, driving through the heels to engage the quads and the glutes, get that full sit up at the bottom, engaging the core, exhale up, throw the one-two punch, rotating around the spine, engaging the obliques, inhaling down, exhaling up. I encourage you to set an intention for today's workout. What is it you want? What is it you need? What is it you desire? Whatever it is you want, whatever it is you need, whatever it is you desire, let's begin focusing on it now. And then allow our tempo and energy and effort to be in alignment with that intention. Everybody and every body have totally unique wants, needs, and desires. Right here, right now, I encourage you to focus on that which your heart desires. As we go through this workout, we'll have five rounds, three exercises per round, one minute per exercise. Inhaling down, leave your weights. As we exhale up, leaving the block, moving to the back of our answer for some right arm tricep kickbacks. Left knee in the center, left arm in the front. Kick out your right leg, grab the weight with your right arm, and then begin the tricep kickbacks, keeping the arm up parallel with the body. Extending from the elbow, engage the triceps. And then when you release the tricep, allow the weight to hinge down from the elbow. Exhale as you extend, inhale as you come down. Keeping a long spine. One straight line from your tailbone to the top of your head, keeping your head and your neck in a neutral position, shining your heart forward, keeping your shoulders square, keeping your hips square, driving through that right leg to create a strong foundation. Inhaling down, exhaling up. As we make our way through today's workout, I encourage you to move breath to movement. As we move our breath to our movement, what we're doing is increasing our self-awareness. We're increasing our level of presence. We're increasing our mindfulness. Having the opportunity right here, right now, to work our mental, physical, spiritual, and emotional bodies. Good, set that weight down. We're gonna very mindfully slide it over to the other side. Right knee in the center, right hand in the front. Grab the weight with your left hand. Bring your arm up, parallel to your body, and then extend out through the elbow, engaging the tricep. Finding length through the spine. Keeping the shoulder square, keeping the hips square. Inhaling, and then exhaling as we extend, engaging the tricep. Keeping that length through our spine strengthens our core. And our core is so important because it supports our spine. And our brain sends and receives messages to our body through our spine. Therefore, having a strong core has a strong spine associated with it, which helps conduct messages from our brain to our body. Shining that heart forward, keeping that arm up, extend and exhale, and then keep going at a tempo that's true, genuine, and authentic to you. Encouraging you to continuously focus on your intention as we're here to invest in wealth for our health together. Good, set your weight down, moving into round two. We're gonna pick that block back up. We're gonna grab our weights again as we move into our second round of answer punches. Knees over the ankles, legs parallel with one another. Squeeze that block tight. Inhale down, get that full sit up. Exhale up, throw that one-two punch. Focusing on our breath, our movement, and our intention. We'll be here for one minute. Incredible job. Next time that we're down, let's leave our weights, leave our block, and then we'll come back standing up for greatness. Move into the back of our answer for our right arm tricep kickbacks. Put the left hand down, the left knee down. Grab the weight with your right arm, and then begin 
Keeping the arm up parallel with the body. Extend out, engage the tricep. Inhale down, exhale out. Shining the heart forward, keeping length through the spine, focusing on our breath, engaging our triceps, and keeping our intention at the forefront of our mind. We'll be here for one minute. Awesome job. Let's set the weight down. Let's slide that incredible body over to the other side as we move into our left arm tricep kickbacks. Arm parallel to the body. Extend out, engage the tricep. Suck the navel into the spine. Keep the spine long. Keep the shoulders and hips square with one another. And focusing on exhaling as we extend, inhaling as we release. We'll be here for one minute. Use this opportunity to focus on your intention. Incredible. Set the weight down. Let's make our way back to the front of our answer for round three. Grabbing our block, grabbing our weights, and then begin moving into some answer punches. Inhale down, exhale up, throw your one-two punch. Inhale down, engage the core, exhale up, drive through the heels to engage the quads and the glutes. Rotating across the body, throwing the one-two punch, engaging the obliques and the shoulders. Focusing on your breath, focusing on your intention. We'll be here for one minute. Awesome job. Next time that we're down, leave those weights, leave the block, stand up for greatness. Make our way to the back of our answer as we move into our next set of right arm tricep kickbacks. Grab the weight with your right arm, left knee, left hand, out in front. Inhale down, exhale, extend the tricep. Toning up the arms, sucking the navel into the spine to find length through the spine, visualizing each vertebrae stacked one on top of another as we focus on our breath, our form, and our intention for the next minute. Great job. Set that weight down. We're going to slide that body over to the left as we make our way into our left arm tricep kickbacks. Pull the arm up, parallel to the body. Inhale down, exhale, extend. Finding length through the spine, keeping the head and the neck in a neutral position. Focusing on our breath, focusing on engaging our triceps, and focusing on our intention for the next minute. we 
Awesome job. Set that weight down, making our way into round four. Coming back to the front of our answer. Grab the block, place it between your legs. Grab the weights as we make our set into our fourth round of answer punches. Inhale and down, get that full sit up. Exhale up, driving through the heels. Engaging the quads, the glutes. Inhale down, engage the core. Exhale up, throw that one-two punch. Working on the rotation through the spine and engaging the shoulders. Squeezing that block tight. Focusing on our breath, focusing on our rhythm, and focusing on our intention for the next minute. Great job. Next time that we go down, let's leave the weights. Let's leave the buck. Stand up for greatness. Making our way back to the back of our answer for our fourth set of right arm tricep kickbacks. Growing tall, finding length through the spine, head and neck in a neutral position. Shoulder square, hips square. Exhale as we extend, inhale down. Connecting the mind with the body as we focus on our triceps and focus on our intention for the next minute. Beautiful job. Very mindfully set that weight down, slide the body over to the left as we move into our left arm tricep kickbacks. Growing tall, finding length through our spine, visualizing space in between each and every vertebrae, keeping the hips square, keeping the shoulders square. Exhale as we extend, inhale down. Suck the navel into the spine to engage the core. Focusing on our breath, focusing on engaging our triceps, and focusing on our intention for the next minute. Incredible job. Set the weight down as we make our way into round five. Coming back to the front of our answer, grabbing that block, placing it between our legs to get the bonus engagement of the inner leg line and the glutes. Inhaling down, exhaling up, throwing that one-two punch. You know what the form looks like. You know what the form feels like. We've been here before. Now allow me to help engage your mental body, empowering you with the power of I am. When we use the word I am, we defined who we are and what we are and who are we becoming. So right here, right now, allow me to pump you up with some positive I ams. I am amazing, I am beautiful, I am courageous, I am dedicated, I am enough, I am fantastic, I am grateful, I am healthy, I am intelligent, I am joyful, I am kind, I am loving, I am meaningful, I am natural, I am optimistic, I am passionate, I am quality, I am resilient, I am strong, I am thoughtful, I am unique, I am valuable, I am worthy, I am the X factor, I am youthful, I am zealous. Every time that we use the word I am, we are just identifying who we are and what we're becoming. I encourage you and I encourage me to select I ams that are in alignment with where we want to be headed. Good. You're doing an incredible job here working the quads, the glutes, the core, the cardio, and rotating through the spine. Leave the weights down. Leave the block down as we make our way back to the back of our answer for some right arm tricep kickbacks. Finding length through the spine. Keeping the head and neck in a neutral position. Shoulders square. 
hip square. Suck the navel into the spine to engage the core. The core is so valuable because it supports the spine. And the brain is a sending and receiving transmitter that sends messages through the body, through the spine, to each part of the body. And right here, right now, we're sending a message from our brain to our hand to hold the weight. We're sending a message from our brain to our tricep to engage and relax. Focusing on our breath, focusing on our movement, and utilizing this opportunity right here to strengthen our tricep, strengthen our core, and strengthen our mind. Knowing we can have, knowing that we can do, knowing that we can be anything we want to have, anything we want to do, anything we want to be. It first starts with identifying what is it that we desire. What is it we want? What is it we need? What is it we desire? And then we have the opportunity to work towards it. And then we have the opportunity to focus on it. Then we have the opportunity to visualize it. And then we have the opportunity to create it and experience it. Good, very mindfully set that weight down. Slide that body over to the other side, appreciating how the brain is easily communicating to the body. Pull that left arm up as we move into our left arm tricep kickbacks. Finding length through the spine. Keeping the head and the neck in a neutral posture. Keeping the shoulders square, keeping the hips square. Focusing on our breath. Focusing on our intention. You can have, you can do, you can be anything you want to have, anything you want to do, anything you want to be. We spent the last few minutes focusing on what are our heart's desires. Right here, right now, we're empowering ourselves to achieve it. We're empowering ourselves to enjoy it, adding strength, endurance, power, balance, flexibility to our body as we invest in the wealth of our health together, mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, feeling all parts of our body, head, shoulders, knees, and toes, ears and eyes, mouth and nose, right here, right now, as it allows us to enjoy this beautiful gift known as life and what a gift it is, and having the ability to take care of our body. We have one body, and taking care of it and honoring it is such a gift. Thank you for allowing me to serve you the wealth of health, and remember that you are the answer.